Welcome back guys. In this video, I've been given a question to assemble the parts of this particular T alvin joint and we are asked to also draw the front view, the side view and the top view. That is after assembling those parts together. So what we are going to do first is to start with the assembling of the parts. And in order to start with the assembling of the parts, I'm going to start with this particular part this upper part so what am i going to do we are going to be using 30 60 degree set square which is this particular set square so first of all i'm going to draw a very straight line here which is going to be a very thin line just to serve as a reference line all right so i'm going to pick my 30 60 degree set square okay i'm going to what draw a straight line please ensure you are making use of a thin line then towards my left hand side also I'm going to what? I'm going to draw a straight line also like this. Then for the height, I'm also going to do the same thing like this. Okay. So now what we are going to be doing is to calculate our length. All right. So for here, we have been given the length to be 42 millimeter. Okay. All dimensions are in millimeter. Take note of that. Now we have been given this place to be 40. Actually, we are not given any dimension, but let's just use 40 then this place where the joint is going to take place is 42 and this place is 40 all right so for this particular place we have been given it to be 20 so i'm going to measure 20 millimeter here from here to here is 20 all right from here to here is 20 now from here to here we said it's going it's going to be what it's going to be 40 millimeter all right 40 millimeter and the height is what 42 the height is 42 all right that's why i said we should make use of thin line in case there's anyone we are going to be erasing okay so i'm going to join this as it is shown right there like this like this then i'm going to join this to this also like this and like this all right so now what is the total length of this place 40 plus 40 plus 42 that's 122 so i'm going to mark what i'm going to draw a straight line here right here okay so the length of that straight line is going to be what 122 that's 12.2 centimeter 12.2 centimeter okay so at this point, I'm going to measure what 40 backwards. All right, I'm going to measure 40 backward like this. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to draw this here like this. Then making use of this line here, I'm going to what continue this from here like this. Okay let's just use our eyes to mark this point here where it is going to stop okay so now from here to this inner part is what actually 10 is 10 millimeter so i'm going to just draw like this then at this point also here which we have marked before i'll draw it like this then i'm going to what measure my 10 i'm going to measure my 10 this is 10 okay then this is also what this is also 10 millimeter now at those points we are going to join this together like this all right we are going to join this together now we are going to move straight to this place we are going to what be drawing this particular line downward like this okay then we'll draw this also downward like this okay so we are going to join this making use of the same length with this particular place making use of the same length with this particular place we are going to join this so i can actually say we are done with the top okay so now what is left for us to do is to draw this other part which is actually m2 i think they've may they've already named it here this is m1 and this is m2 okay so from this point i'm just going to extend the line downward okay i'm going to extend the line from this place all right downward like this then at this point also i'll do the same extending it 
downward likewise okay so now for here we have been given the length to be what 46 i've been given the length to be 46 so i'm going to pick my 46 millimeter from this point this is 46 millimeter now we have been given this place to be what 20 okay so i'm going to pick my 30 60 degrees s square and draw a straight line like this then measure what 20 this is 20 millimeter okay this is 20 millimeter then at that point of 20 millimeter i'm going to draw like this then i'm going to be what drawing like this all right so this place is not actually needed we can erase this place in order not for us to be confused so what is the next thing for us to do after joining this together what is the next thing for us to do which is very very important we are going to what join this place please ensure you are not joining these two places together then we are going to draw this our sign which is what indicating that that place is actually like broken something like a wood like this is the sign conversion for something like a wood all right so it is actually indicating that that is a wood then this also we are going to do the same thing for this particular place you can just do it anyhow just make sure that it is having that sign convention all right so ah uh, this is exactly the way it is going to be after joining this together now don't forget we are also asked to what to draw the views that is the front view the side view and the top view so before we draw the front view side view and top view if you really found value in this kindly smash the subscribe button and share this video with your friend or your classmates that might be needing it yeah thank you for doing that okay so now we move straight to the what to the orthographic projection of this particular stuff as given in the question that we are to draw so now we are going to start with drawing this vertical and horizontal line which i've drawn that is very very easy if you want to know the dimension i use that is 0.5 here up and down 0.5 you can actually use one centimeter depending on whichever one your instructor asks you to use now we are going to first of all check the total length of this which we calculated to be what 122 okay so that's the total length so i'm going to pick 122 at the base first this is 122 stopping at this particular point all right so now we are going to calculate this place also what is the total length in this place 40 centimeter so and 40 millimeter sorry so i'm going to pick 40 all right then i'm going to pick my 42 which is this particular place all right 42 then this remaining part is what is 40 so at that point i'm going to what this is going to serve as our front view okay this is our front view so at this point i'm going to draw straight lines upward okay i'm going to draw straight lines upward let's just draw it to the top please ensure you make it of thin lines you are going to be taking it out later now what is the total height we actually calculated this place to be what 46 and this particular place is what 42 millimeter so 46 plus 42 that is actually 88 all right 88 so i'm going to mark 88 88 is going to be here right here okay 88 is right there so at exactly 88 millimeter okay i'm going to draw a straight line like this okay i'm going to draw a straight line like this now at this point here at this point right here i'm going to draw a straight line coming downwards okay and it is going to be of what 42 millimeter so i'm going to mark 42 this is going to meet i'm going to mark 42 okay so this is 42 so at that point of 42 i'm going to what draw this like this and then draw this like this so this particular place is not actually visible but it is broken all right so we are going to be making use of what 
dotted lines that are short dashes okay we are going to make use of short dashes line so we can actually thicken this out we can actually thicken this out all right so i've taken the parts that are necessary to be taken out the next thing we are going to move to this is our front view don't write it like this in your work i'm just writing it because this is a practice drawing for us so this is our front view we are going to move it straight to the world to the plan in order to draw our plan we are just going to what project downward which is this place this is our plan all right the view from the top so we are going to project starting from here this place here we are going to project this particular place downward first like this making use of a very faint line please very faint line then we'll project this also downward like this then this likewise and this is already projected okay so now the first thing we are going to mark is the thickness of our plan which is actually what 20 this is what 20 millimeter this place is actually 10 okay this is 40 6 and this is 42 let me just label it in order not for us to be confused all right so this is 20 i'm going to mark my 20 from here then what am i going to do next i'm going to join this so this remaining is actually useless let me erase it in order not for it to confuse us on the long run so i've erased the parts that we are not going to be making use of now what are we just drawing in the plan is only this particular place so i'm going to what mark my 10 this is 10 okay so this is 10 i'm going to mark 10 right here 10 right here okay then join this together okay so this is the place that needs to be taken out this place this place yeah we have to take in out this place likewise then seeking out this place likewise and then this place all right so we are not going to forget we have this particular sign here okay so i'm going to do that i actually said the usefulness of that sign in the beginning of this video okay so this is it so this is our top view or plan all right so what we are going to do next is to draw our side elevation or side view to be particular so in order to draw the side view we are going to be bringing in our 45 degree set square right here then starting from this center here i'm going to what project downward like this with 45 degree set square take note of that then all lines i'm going to be projecting all horizontal lines from the top view to this our 45 degree line making use of a very faint line please then i'll project it what upward okay project it upward like this then project this likewise upward okay so now we want to draw what our side view so this particular place is our side view okay and how to draw our right side view our right side view we are going to first of all match this together so i'm going to join this let me take it out immediately then at this point also which is this place i'm going to what join this also okay i think the front view is very very straightforward now don't forget there is a break here there is actually a break here so we are going to be indicating this center what with a short dashes also with a short dashes we have to indicate it even though we are going to be covering it with this bro break of a thing but with this wood symbol of a thing but we still have to indicate it there now from here we are going to watch draw our symbol like this okay so this is it now let's move to the base we have to take out the base also okay so we're taking out the base yeah like this voila so you can erase this 
actually it's not actually necessary to erase it provided your second line is more visible than that one and you signified it so this is our side view okay i've also done a video on this tough tail bridle wooden joint okay i'm going to be dropping the link right in the description so you can find it right here and also watch it if you are going to be needing it thank you for watching i'll see you in the next peace